This is an unfortunate update on a story we previously covered here on the damage report. A black high school student in Texas is being removed from his school and sent to a disciplinary alternative school all over his dreadlocks. So to remind you all of the facts in this situation, Daryl George, 18, is a junior at Barbers Hill High School in Mott Bellevue and has been suspended since August 31st. He will be sent to Epic, an alternative school program from October 12th through November 29th for failure to comply. With multiple campus and classroom regulations, the principal said in a Wednesday letter provided to the Associated Press by the family. Barbers Hill Independent School District prohibits male students from having hair extending below the eyebrows, earlobes, or top of t-shirt collar, according to the student handbook. Additionally, hair on all students must be clean, well-groomed, geometrical, and not an unnatural color or variation. The school does not require uniforms. Now, the family's contention, and rightfully so, is that the school's hair code violates the newly passed Crown Act. A little bit more on that. Family alleged Georgia's suspension and subsequent discipline violate the state's Crown Act, which took effect September 1st. The law, an acronym for Create a Respectful and Open World for Natural Hair, is intended to prohibit race-based hair discrimination and bars employers and schools from penalizing, penalizing people because of their hair texture or protective hairstyles, including afros, braids, dreadlocks, twist, or bantu knots. Now, the school has previously done this to two other students. And in those cases, it went to court and the school lost and they're doing it again. Let's talk a little bit about those cases. Now, Barbers Hills officials told cousins DeAndre Arnold and Caden Bradford they had to cut their dreadlocks in 2020. Their family sued the school district in May 2020, and a federal judge later ruled the district's hair policy was discriminatory. Their pending case helped spur Texas lawmakers to approve the state's Crown Act law. Both students withdrew from the school with Bradford returning after the judge's ruling. Now, here we have a school that has been found to have been discriminating against these students previously that is employing the same exact playbook and enforcing the same exact racist disciplinary code against uh, uh against Daryl George in this case and I've I have experience working at these alternative disciplinary schools I I worked at one all through college no one sent there for this type of ridiculous uh infraction racist infraction is going to be getting any meaningful education those schools have students who have severe behavioral disabilities that prevent them uh, from create prevent the schools from creating a safe learning environment in the classroom. Sending him there is in effect attempting to deprive him of an education based on racist hair policies. And Jackson, uh, have you weigh in here now on this ridiculous and discriminatory situation? Well, I mean, it's really just lame. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's it's whack. Like, because don't nobody care, especially now. It's like what you're fighting for the past. Um, you know, like you're trying to make one final stand. You know, if we're gonna go down, we're gonna go down strong. We're gonna go down swinging. But you know, it's a losing battle. Like, it, it, no, no one cares. And as you pointed out, they've already lost court cases with this. So again, it's like, no, like. We have to fight for our way of life to be able to dictate what, you know, I guess what type of hair people can and, and can't have. I guess in their mind and the worldview they have, it makes them more prestigious because there's more order about. You know what I'm saying? But um, they're, they, they're getting themselves in even more trouble. They're making themselves look like not a school that you should send your children if you have a choice about it. And it's just an unnecessary hill to die on. It just mm -hmm. really is. Um, you know, ultimately, you're just going to look worse and worse the longer this drags on. And uh, in this case, there's a, another element that is really disturbing, which is that um, the family has said that uh, there's a spiritual aspect to Daryl George's uh, dreads and that it, parts of his father and I believe grandfather's hair has been integrated into the dreadlocks and it holds deep meaning for him. So to demand he cut them off is asking him to do something that violates no, a belief that he holds personally. And just more broadly, 
The policy absolutely stifles freedom of expression of these students, refusing to let them dye their hair unnatural colors. But you know, students are allowed to dye their hair blonde. That's fine, despite the fact that you know, if that's not their natural hair color, they've still dyed their hair. I mean, the whole policy is absolutely absurd. But obviously, the implications in this specific case are that of a racist policy, and will. And attention has been mounting on this. Obviously, there's going to be a trial moving forward. But by the time it happens, Daryl George probably won't be in high school anymore. So devastating impact on him. Media attention needs to be lazy, like absolutely focused on this case to stop the school from doing this discriminatory act. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want, with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.